Hey there, Aries. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Um, welcome to 2021. I wanted to go ahead and do a little bit of a different situation here in regard to your cards. Um, I wanted to do a kind of like an overview of the next six months coming. So I have that set up here. Um, I pre-shuffled, obviously, just because it's a lot to fit and make it concise so you can see. Um, also, for those of you who've donated to my friends, go fund me to help get his mother's ashes back. Um, that's super helpful. Thank you so much. Um, if you are interested in, in helping with that any further, um, the link for his GoFundMe is in the description box below. Um, and so... Yeah, let's go ahead and get into your reading, Aries. So the first month, January, moving into 2021, you have um, the Hierophant here. Okay. <clears throat> so it's, it's interesting with the Hierophant popping up just because we are dealing with so much like political unrest it feels this often the hierophant can talk about establishments government establishments you know policies stuff of that nature but it feels almost as if like that's like the main thing on everybody's mind which is obvious are we getting stimulus checks are we getting you know all of these things like is this coming to fruition what's happening with all of these like political things there's an aspect of that that seems to be very present in the month of January, um, it feels. And it's important to, I feel like, move forward in, how do we say that? Like procuring, what I'm getting is like procuring as much for your family, for yourself as possible, um, which sounds obvious, but it almost seems like what I'm picking up is doing it in ways that are a bit less untraditional when it's like we have adhered so much to a traditional sense in that matter. It's now trying to like, I feel like we're trying to do things in an untraditional, unconventional way. Um, okay. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and clarify a little bit for that month. Because that type of thinking, I don't know, it feels a bit outdated, especially when it comes to establishments. There's so much changing here. So we have the two of swords popping out in reverse here. So situations, options, situ things that may have been at a standstill, it, it's starting to move forward now. There's less worry. Um, again, I think it's important though, especially with children, if you have children, if you have families, there's some aspect here where we are just kind of going for it, where we're making sure that um, we're protecting our family in every way possible financially. I, I'm not trying to talk about illegal dealings that's not what i'm talking about at all but it feels like there's a lack of trust that's happening here you know where you've been cut off from a lot of potentials opportunities resources things of that nature um you know it's important to kind of get what you can and hold on to it especially if you have families that sounds really heavy but it's kind of the it's kind of the energy that i'm picking up here right now okay um it's important, most definitely, with this energy. Um, I just, I just, I want you to be careful of like doing things illegally. I don't know why this is coming up right now, but I want you to be careful of that. You know, there's a lot of things going on right now of like get rich quick, get quick, rich quick schemes and all of these things. And what did I see the other day? I saw on something was it Instagram maybe. Um, people are talking about, oh, you know, with the, the numbers at the back of your social security card, you can, you know, um, go into that database and there's an amount of money basically that is essentially yours. It would be for your retirement. You know, it's what you already paid into, but people are trying to access that money now because they're not receiving from the government. They're not being able to access money that they're due and we've kind of got this big debacle going on right now, but people are starting to access that money, or at least they're trying. Um, it's illegal. Like, don't do that. You know, be careful of what you listen to on the internet. You know, it's also here, you know, take everything with a grain of salt if it doesn't resonate. <clears throat> but overall, it feels like we need to be mindful of things that are too good to be true. You know, maybe we can create some distance within that energy um, from that. Be careful about really high risk investments basically it feels um you know other than that i think it's a it's a good point to at least um kind of expand on what you have in the best ways possible 
also gain what you can through through government through some sort of resource if possible but it feels like if it's been on a standstill standstill if it's been like you're kind of like locked off from that it feels like um how do i say that it's like making the best of what you have um getting what you can making the best of what you have but also trying to um, steer clear of situations that would basically cause a lot of repercussion on your end. So be careful. Just kind of try to stick to what is best. Um, try to stick to what is most reasonable and responsible. Um, yeah, be careful about things that sound too good to be true, okay? <clears throat> In February... February, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse with the Seven of Pentacles here. So basically with the Eight of Cups, it's returning back to something that we have either stepped away from, could be a situation that was really, um, we really were passionate about it at one point in our lives. It was something that we cared about very much, but for whatever reason, we had to step away from it. It doesn't necessarily mean a relationship. It can, but it can talk about so many things in our, our lives, you know, so um stepping away from things, you know, with the seven of pentacles here, this is going to talk about uh, evaluations, you know, making sure that you are kind of like taking stock in regard to your finances, in regard to the things that you put your energy towards. Um, you know, it's it's an interesting energy just because it's like we're, we're either re-evaluating something that we may have po passed up or let go of, walked away from, um, you know, that type of nature. You know, and with this too, in relationship energy, this may have a lot of you really evaluating like the quality of a relationship, the energy between you and a person. What are they giving? What are you giving? Is this something that I want to return to? Is this something that I'm kind of trapped in? You know, is that due to finance? Is that due to, you know, however, it's, it's, there's a lot to consider here in February in regard to, um, evaluations in potentially something that you've left or something that you're considering leaving. Um, I feel like you've already left it though, because the eight of water, eight of cups, eight of water is in reverse already. So it's kind of like reconsidering something that you have, uh, you know, work or reconsidering something that made you very happy. Again, in conjunction with this type of energy over here, um, some of you may be finding that like to make extra money or to make ends meet, you might be incorporating things from the past that you may have really enjoyed, but you had to step away from whether that be to like get a new job or, you know, I, I'm not feeling super love relationship here. I'm feeling more like stability, financial stuff. I'm feeling energy of wanting to make sure that you're taking care of solidly, but also not being reckless in what you're trying to move forward into Aries um, in February. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Let's clarify a little bit more. Yeah, it's like reviewing a lot of energy, possibly things that you've walked away from. Show me the Eight of Cups. So the lovers here. So again, it could be walking away from a person. It could be walking away from a situation regarding um, something that you loved very much, even if it's not a person. Show me the seven of pentacles here for Aries. Okay. So yeah, so you have the moon coming out in reverse Aries, as well as the knight of wands here, which is great energy, especially in regard to having that leap of faith bottom of the deck you have the temperance card here so in regard to this Aries um you know if it is dealing with love you know it's likely that you are evaluating somebody who you can likely have a really good time with but as far as longevity is concerned mm, might not be something that you want to get into you know it could be revisiting a person from the past kind of having a fun time with them, amorous feelings, a lot of stuff of that nature, but like moving forward with them in a concrete way doesn't feel good. It's like there's some element here that has been removed so you can actually connect with this person again. But we also realize 
them for maybe who they are or how they operate um, in regard to you and what you need. So we might be seeing a little bit more of them than, um, or we might see them for who they are, you know, a little bit more so than um, how we want them to be or in the past, maybe how we had hoped them to be or wanted them to be in the past. It's like now we get a better view of them, but it seems like an opportunity comes back for you to potentially engage in if you choose to in February. Um, in regard to more of like the money aspect, though, I feel here that like this is something that you engaged in at one point you enjoyed, but for whatever reason you had to step away. It could have been due to not feeling solid in the way that it was something that not feeling solid in the way that it could have provided for you in the past. Um, and so that may have deterred you from wanting to venture into it even further, even though you may have been very connected to it at one point in your life. Here with the Knight of Wands and the Lovers and the Moon in the reverse, it's almost as if like we're letting go of that cloudy energy. We're not worrying about that aspect anymore. You know, if we are going to do it for the sole sake of pleasure, then do it. You know, it might also be something that provides you with a fair amount of money, especially if you love doing that, but you didn't find it provided enough money in the past. Maybe if it provides enough money now, this could be a side project that you very much were, you know, loving. It could be whatever, you know, um, but here with the Knight of Wands, this is also about moving forward with it, trusting it. There's a lot of creative energy that can come with this energy as well that can come with this, this here. Um, the Knight of Wands is about feeling impassioned about a situation, riding into it, having fun, enjoying yourself. Um, really, really, it's 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 a higher vibration here, I'm feeling. It's more excited to do something. So in those two capacities, that's what I want to mention here for February. I hope that that resonates for you. These are general readings for the collective of Aries. This will not resonate with every single Aries, okay? Moving into March here, <clears throat> to piggyback off of this energy, we have the Page of Wands. So the Page of Wands is is very much a fiery get up and go. Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, you have this energy of movement, forward movement here. Um, and it's, it's interesting just because it's like there's a lot of desire, I feel, behind this. And so whatever you're getting involved in, it could be potentially some of this energy if you're dealing with that um, from the past venturing back into something or it could be connection with somebody if it's a connection with somebody there's a lot of fun conversation there's a lot of fun messages flirting back and forth you know interesting times it's 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 fun it's easy it's it may not be serious but it's still fun and flirty you know I know a lot of people really want the one but sometimes we just have to have fun. Sometimes it's just having a conversation with somebody or having somebody like as a pen pal or, you know, we can call them up. We can, you know, have, I don't know, phone, phone sex. <laughs> I had to say it because that's what I had to say. Um, <laughs> so let's go ahead and get some cards here. Also with the page of wands in March, Aries, <laughs> um, this is a very like, charming energy. Um, there's a lot of self-confidence that's involved in this energy. There's also a lot of like, like risk taking. There's some aspect of risk taking here between February and March. It feels like we have a lot of struggle in January. We were kind of trying to come to like some sort of understanding of how to make ends meet or how to solidify something when we're almost like relying on hierarchy here, which is, it's, it's really frustrating. I feel it opens up though. But anyways, um, moving into March with this potential excited energy, it's like there's a lot of achievements that can happen. Um, you know, with finances, it's trying to think outside of the box a bit more, trying to be a bit more creative in how you present yourself, how you present your projects to work. Um, you know, being mindful not to overdo it with your passion, with your enthusiasm, but, you know, learn about what you're trying to put out, you know, get, get as much information as you can. So you don't really have any like people questioning, um, the validity of what you put out into the world, especially in your work situations okay so show me the page of wands here for aries in march 
So you have the magician in reverse. So again, back to the drawing board, okay? Um, <laughs> in, in financial aspects, back to the drawing board, okay? You don't want to produce something that you don't have the information for. You don't want to put out something that you're not 100% behind, okay? Um, because you may be labeled as somebody who is either they jump the gun or they're irresponsible or maybe their their ideas are kind of half-baked maybe um, the things that you try to move forward in that energy end up um, backfiring on you you don't want that so this this magician in reverse is definitely something that we need to be mindful of um, in regard to people in regard to love situations again <sighs> I have this energy with somebody that you can have fun with, but there's still an element of illusion. There's still an element of situations between the two of you that aren't fully expressed, you know? So that's kind of why I'm saying if you're dealing with somebody in a romantic sense, keep it flirty, keep it fun. It doesn't necessarily, if, if you're not in a relationship or you're not seriously dating somebody and you're just kind of testing the waters this month doesn't seem like it's something that really offers too much you know it's it's fun it's it's exciting it's camaraderie but in the long run it doesn't feel like it's something that really offers you much here at the bottom of the deck you have the four of swords so with the four of swords energy from march you know it's almost as if like this may be exciting but it really doesn't leave you what you want so in turn we end up taking a break, putting our energy, take, removing ourselves from situations, taking some time to really put stock into what we do want, you know, and again, in that work situation, Aries, <clears throat> this is about taking pause, really making sure that everything is ready to go before you move forward. Now, with the magician also in reverse, I don't feel that this is like screaming bad energy to me, quite honestly. This feels um, like it's saying there's more to do before you put what you're trying to incorporate out. Okay, so take a pause. You know, I know it seems like excited energy here and you may be chomping at the bit to get something out, but double check everything, you know, before you put it out there, just because once it's out, it's out and you don't want it to be, you don't want to be ill-equipped. You don't want it to be premature and you don't want people to um, associate you with poor decision-making, especially when it comes with, job related stuff because it's almost like it's too impetuous okay moving into april april 2021 for aries so you have the nine of earth so the nine of pentacles in reverse and the nine of wands upright in april um aries it's interesting just because it's like <clears throat> with this um there's there's a feeling of being ill-equipped Okay, so with the nine of pentacles in reverse, sometimes that can feel like we are, we're not fully in our power. We're kind of ill-equipped in our certain situations regarding money, um, our home situations, um, you know, but we're, we're on edge with it, with the nine of wands here, okay? It's like we, we still have to try, we still have to continue, you know, but it's almost a daunting experience, um, and you might feel a little bit lacking either in finances or just the energy to get up and go to move forward and something okay with the nine of wands we also are trying to protect ourselves as much as possible you know um making sure that you're kind of holding on to everything that you've created just because it feels here that there's some sort of sense of lack that comes with the nine of earth and the nine of fire um <clears throat> Some of you, this may also involve like home situations or like situations where like moving is of consideration or the topic at hand. Um, that's kind of the energy that it feels here for April. <clears throat> um, there's just this aspect of like not being tip top in what you need in your life and on like a financial level in a stability level. Um, but you're on edge about it, it feels, you know. <sighs> So let's go ahead and clarify here. And in love matter, in a sense of love for this month, um, with the nine of pentacles in reverse and the nine of wands, it's almost as if like you are, how do you say, protecting yourself from somebody that throws you off of balance or protecting yourself from somebody that you know doesn't reciprocate in the way that you need. Um, it's important to not allow ourselves to um, get enwrapped in the idea of maybe, you know, the, the hope of something when things have 
been proven to you to not work in that regard. Again, kind of piggyback, piggybacking off of this energy as well in the past. Um, yeah, so give me some clarification for Aries for April. Oop, hang on, it's on the floor. <clears throat> Okay, so you have the Seven of Cups coming through here, Aries. And give me one more for the Nine of Wands for Aries in April. Okay. Okay, so you have, for the Nine of Wands, you have Strength in Reverse, and you have the Ten of Cups here. Sorry, I'm just trying to get this so situated for you. Um... So in April, the, the uh, I'm sorry, the nine of uh, pentacles in reverse, this again could be about a, a kind of disturbance in finances, disturbance in your foundation, not feeling like you are fully equipped to move forward in what you need. There might be a lot of options in regard to what can help you um, solidify your situation a bit more, to stabilize you a bit more, but it almost feels like there's too many things to look at. There's too much confusion in regard to just feeling settled within yourself. Um, you know, so a lot of options, but a lot of confusion that comes with those options. Okay. Sorry, I'm just kind of neurotic about placement here so I can see. Um, with the nine of wands and strength in reverse, you know, you may be dealing with situations where you're fed up, um, especially if you are dealing with something like family, um, home life situation, again, foundations within the home. Um, there may be a situation in April where you might need to either consider you know, what would better stabilize your family, whether that be like moving, is this the home situation worth it? Um, are you making enough money to maintain that? You have the emperor at the bottom of the deck. So this is about standing in your own power. It's about making positive choices, being the ruler of your own destiny. It's basically somebody who's a boss ass bitch and they do what they need to do to get ahead. Uh, very dedicated energy. And it doesn't mean that you, it, it, basically the energy of being incredibly dedicated is coming up here. So this may be needing to put more focus on our finances, on our home situation. Um, you know, especially if you're already on edge and it's it's just draining you. Um, you may have lost your patience with a lot of this type of stuff too. Um, I, I want to say too, for some of you, I don't, not everybody lives in government assistance or government assisted situations, but if that is the case, it almost feels like you're exhausted by having to deal with that. So it's like, you're trying to get out of that energy. Okay. For a happier family to solidify energy for that family, for you and your friends, your family. Um, so you can have a better outcome to feel happier, to feel more, um, solid, you know, and also to, this may be a situation where you're required to ask family members for help financially, you know, which gives you the opportunity to choose as you need with that seven of cups. Okay. <clears throat> don't get up. Don't get bent out of shape Aries in the month of April. Um, especially if you're kind of just like feeling like between a rock and a hard place. There's options and there's help, but you have to ask for them. You have to open up to that, okay? Um, and also be very, very sure, like, in work environments, um, be careful about what you're presenting just because, again, here we have this energy. I don't know. There's just, like, this be careful about what you're presenting. It's like go over everything with a fine-tooth comb, you know, like tweaking um, what you're producing, okay? Okay. Out in May. So in May, we have the strength card, okay, as well as justice in reverse. So with the strength card and justice in reverse, um, this is basically having to deal, you know, with a lot of um, things that may be going awry, okay, things that sh you feel like you shouldn't have to deal with, but yet we're dealing with in May. Um, so the energy seems to be a little bit more uh, persistent in legal matters. It could be dealing with government entities. Again, first card out here, you do have the hierophants of a lot of connection with government um, institutions, policy, things of that nature, political stuff. Um, with justice in reverse, though, it's almost as if like you're working against a situation. I'm very curious to clarify this to see just because it feels like you're working against a situation and you have to basically be very patient in the process. Okay. 
show me strength for Aries in May. So you have the Two of Cups coming out in reverse and you have the Knight of Swords coming out in reverse. So let's talk about love for just a second here, just because that seems very, very consistent with that bottom of the deck, the Three of Cups. Now with this energy, Aries, here, I'll just put this here so you can, maybe you can't see it. I don't know. We'll put it here. Okay. Um, with the Two of Cups in reverse and the Knight of Swords in reverse, Two of Cups in reverse, essentially, you know, it feels like you're dealing with a situation that it's not supportive any longer, you know, um, in, in a romantic sense, the situation is not supportive any longer. You could be dealing with a Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Aquarius, Libra, um, Aquarius, Libra, Aquarian, but... <clears throat> Either way, it feels in a love capacity that two people are falling out of connection with each other. There may be very harsh words. You may be dealing with a situation romantically that is causing you to, it's requiring you to hold on, continue to wait. There's some aspect here where there may be legal issues with a person, um, you know, <clears throat> where things are being finalized or there's some sort of requirement that... Um, due to somebody not treating us properly or due to somebody like elongating some sort of messy relationship issue. Um, there may be some sort of legality that's involved here. Now, if there's no legality involved between you and a person, this really just talks about having strength to deal with a situation where we've just fallen apart. People are at each other's <clears throat> last rope, you know, with the Knight of Swords. There's a lot of harsh, um, really almost like aggressive communication, angry fighting, that kind of situation. Um, with justice in reverse, we will clarify, but with the two of, uh, I'm sorry, with the three of cups here, just for this energy, it almost feels like the idea is could be somebody from your, your family, your friends group. It could be a relationship person, partner. Um, but it, it, it's almost as if like the action, the goal out of here is to be able to, Re remain friends or it's like create some sort of harmony at least moving forward so we're not in this stagnant energy that's what i'm feeling not all relationships are cut and dry not everything is black and white in every relationship a lot of people get upset and they're like okay i'll never talk to you again if that's the way you do it then that's the way you do it but it doesn't feel like that's the energy here it feels like there's strength we are required to have strength dealing with somebody moving forward show me ju okay so this is for justice in reverse you have the queen of pentacles here yeah see and you have the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck so with that energy i'm feeling like there's some aspect of resolve there's some aspect of um equal give and take or at least somebody giving to a situation a little bit more to see it through um i don't i don't mean that in a way where it's like you are putting yourself second or you know making somebody else a priority but there's some aspect here it feels that somebody is willing to <clears throat> um I guess be the bigger person and move through it. You know, it's like you're coming from a stable place. You could be dealing with a queen of pentacles, a, an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, but it's almost as if like there's some sort of resolve here. It may be financial. It may come with, um, you know, it's almost like it could be a parting gift, you know, to, 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 la, 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 to try to keep the peace. Um, Either way, there's some aspect here where somebody may, you know, try to help a situation out by giving money to something or somebody. Um, there's an aspect here that, you know, we want to nurture a situation. It could just, aside from financial stuff, it could just be somebody wanting to remain in connection with a partner where things have fallen apart here, you know, because there is a fair amount of love. There is a fair amount of connectedness to somebody, but the situation has kind of run its course. Doesn't mean you have to get rid of the person, but it feels like you're doing what you can to stabilize yourself as well as um, make the situation a bit more, um, how do you say, easy to deal with. Give me one more for the Knight of Swords here for May for Aries and Strength. Knight of Swords in reverse, Two of Cups in reverse. Give me one more. Get two. 
So yeah, we have the Queen of Cups and we have the Six of Pentacles here. So some sort of aspect of equality in this here with the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So this is the underlying energy again, which I'm kind of picking up on is just like this... <clears throat> antagonistic, angry, frustrated, things falling apart energy. Um, but here it's like we have, um, could be dealing with a queen of cups, a water sign, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, again, earth sign energy. But it's almost as if like we're seeing this through a level of compassion. We're seeing this through the eyes and lens of compassion. Um, and so we, it's almost as if you're the bigger person here, Aries. It's like looking into a situation as the bigger person, even though we realize letting go of a situation may be sticky, it may be uncomfortable, but it almost seems like ripping off the bandages, what we need to do to move it forward, you know, um, looking at this through a sense of compassion and understanding, wanting to be there for somebody, even though it's maybe been unfair to you. That's kind of a bigger person move. And that's what it feels like in May. Okay. But this is the underlying energy too. So it's like, we've, we've come to the understanding that this is where we're going to be feeling from, we're going to be dealing with situation of this nature, but also we're not going to allow it to rule us okay um in a financial sense this is almost getting out of situations that you've been in for long enough where situations have fallen apart you may have loved a situation um or a job but you know as far as equality or as far as being able to make enough money it may have not been giving you enough so we're going to do what's right for us and we're going to basically get into situations that do give us the right type of energy here. You could be dealing with a water sign or an earth sign. There's some aspect here of give and take between two people. Um, but almost like somebody is here. We have this, you see this man is giving to these two children. You know, it's almost as if the energy, what I'm feeling is like your energy is kind of exalted and you're giving to somebody or you're kind of easing a situation because, um, because you can, and because you know it's necessary and because you see the limitations in the person that you're dealing with. Whew. Okay. Show me June. You have the eight of <clears throat> you have the eight of swords here for June and the magician. So that magician is in reverse now. Here we're upright. So maybe in June, something that was happening in March <clears throat> could be could be relational, could be job situation. I'm going to go with job first. I'm sorry to bounce back and forth, but I just have to do this as it comes to me. So with the Eight of Swords here, that's generally about um, being trapped in your mind, not knowing which direction to go in, not knowing what we're contributing to, not knowing how a thing is going to turn out. And so we basically start to lose our confidence in a situation just because we don't know you know, how the outcome is going to be, you know, so we're hesitant to move forward here, you know, is it half baked? Is it something that just feels like it's not enough, but we're really eager to do it here? I feel like the time has come to move forward. The time has come to implement whatever possibly was going on in March into June. Now we're trying to move it forward. Now we have all of the bugs figured out, you know, and we're getting this off the ground. Okay. That's what it feels like. Um, <clears throat> I'm not really picking up a ton of like love energy with that, but in a, in a romantic sense, Aries, it would be more so um, mindful about somebody coming into your life, being uncertain about their intentions. You know, maybe they have a lot of get up and go in regard to how they want to move things forward. Maybe they're excited to get into connection with you, um, but you're hesitant. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify June for Aries. Show me the eight of eight of swords for Aries in June. Okay, so you have two cards popping out. First off, you have the two of wands coming out here, Aries, with the ten of wands in reverse. Um, the two of wands, ten of wands in reverse, death card at the bottom of the deck could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, you know. The Ten of Wands here is basically if you've been mentally exhausted by a situation and you're just kind of vacillating, it's time to get up and go. It's time to let go of the worry and the burden and the confusion. It's time to open things up so you can have more for yourself here. Okay. Um, you have a new opportunity with the Two of Wands. This is about literally taking a new direction. It's it's taking a, a course correction, new direction, change in things, um, moving forward for you <clears throat> in June. <clears throat> 
This could also be opening up lines of communication in your work environment as well so that you can take a leap of faith. But it's also doing things in a completely different way. It feels like there's an overhaul here. And I feel because that might be a new thing to you, Aries, in the month of June, you know, a new way of doing things. It might be a bit scary, but you're kind of assured here with the magician to move forward in that for that message. Um <clears throat> In love, I would say the two of wands here would be definitely like looking at a situation, getting over aspects of problems, burdens with a person, um, and you may be wanting to take a new leap of faith with that, but, you know, that's up to you. There's still some hesitance there. Show me the magician here for Aries in June. Okay, so you have the king of pentacles here. So in a financial sense... <clears throat> If you are implementing things from March into June, there's enough time that's passed. There's enough time for you to solidify whatever it is that you need to incorporate and move forward. It leads you to stability. It leads you to finance. It leads you to money. If it's a family situation, it leads stability and it leads to stability and finance for your family here. Okay. Um, equal give and take. It could be good things for both parties. It could be both parties moving towards something that really stabilizes you if you're single it's really talking about, you know, letting go of obstacles that have basically trapped you, things that you're kind of worried about, but you still have a lot of desire and passion to experience. Allow yourself to take the leap. Allow yourself to take the next step. It's okay. Okay. Um, and some of you, this could be a earth sign, Taurus, Libra, I'm sorry, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo coming into your life in a romantic sense. Um, where you may want to give them an opportunity to come to move forward with you. There is possibility in that. So let me go ahead and do a, let me see where these cards are. Marcel. Hi, Marcel, baby bear. All right. So I'm going to do one from Lenormand. Um, I'm going to do one from the Lenormand here. Okay. It's kind of an over energy, overarching energy for the first six months. First six months. Okay. I'm going to read from the book because I don't know these 100%. So we are going to learn together. Okay. This is the well. All right. I have many symbolic meanings, wishes, resources, creativity, and healing. If you look intently into the depths of my darkness, you may see your true thoughts reflected and your secret wishes revealed. But your wishes will only be granted if you dig deep and work hard. Okay. <laughs> That's a general message for the entire year. Um, I think that goes well in romance and in finance. I, I feel, Aries, you guys are dealing more so with situations that are going to be stabilizing your life, getting rid of old things that are not worth your time, um, you know, revising energies, especially when it comes to your finances. It's like revising, making sure that everything is kind of streamlined, con um, condensed. There's an aspect here where it's like we're really fine tooth combing everything to make sure everything is running in the right directions. So I hope that this reading is helpful for you, Aries. I know it's not 100% a love reading, but, um, you know, it is what it is. And if you found it helpful, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you choose to donate, there's a link in my description box below. Um, and if you do choose to donate, I, I hope you do for my friends um, to get his mother's ashes back. I've created a GoFundMe and the crematorium isn't allowing, they're not, they're holding things. So basically um, he needs to pay it, but he doesn't have enough money to do that because it's $3,500. So he's not working either. So anyways, um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. If you want a personal reading, feel free to contact me at the altruistic mystic at gmail.com and I will talk to you soon. All right, Aries, take care. Bye-bye.